Yep, fire's going good. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Mike and you are watching Triple T Acres and we are out here in the shop and we are going to be doing a test today. If you saw two videos ago, you noticed that I had recently insulated my vented soffits and my ridge vent with insulation. Uh, we're going to test today to see if it actually makes a difference. The current temperature is 33 degrees and we just had a little bit of snow last night and the high today is 38 degrees. So we're going to get the wood burner lit and then we're going to run the salamander or torpedo heater and see if we can actually get it comfortable enough in here to maybe do a project. This is going to be phase one of this whole insulating process series that I'm going to be doing on the YouTube channel. So if you're interested in seeing what putting a ceiling in will make a difference as far as the temperature without insulation. And then I'm going to add blown in insulation above that. And then finally we are going to put insulation on the walls and we're going to test each phase of that insulating process to see if it makes a difference. And, and this could help somebody if you can only have a budget for one thing at a time, this will be able to tell you what is the most priority thing that will, will help sustain a decent temperature in your building. But without further ado, let's get the wood burner going and the torpedo heater and see how warm we can get in this shop without essentially any insulation except for my ridge vents and my soffit. We got everything fired up. It's a little loud in here because we got the torpedo heater going and the box fan going. The fire is going hot right now. Let me give you a look at that. Yep, the fire's going good. Right now it is 20 after 10 and I will give an update here in about an hour to see if the temperatures come up in here. All right, now that we got everything going, it's only a matter of time to see if this is really going to make a difference. The current temperature, let me show you, 35 degrees and it is 1020 in the morning. So really the temperature outside is the same as it is in here. I got a thermometer in here. We're gonna see what the temperature is here in about an hour. Stick around, we'll see if we can get it warm enough in here. One hour later. All right, the current time is 11:19, so it's been an hour since we got it really going on in here. Wood burner is still going hot. I got a box fan behind it blowing the heat around that way. The torpedo heater is going really well there. And let's go check the temperature on the thermometer. It is 50 degrees in here. And let me check the outside temperature according to the weather channel. All right, outside temperature currently 37 degrees. So we're at 50 degrees in here an hour after we got it started. All right, so let's give it another hour and we'll see what the temp is then. One hour later. All right, we're back out here and it is 12.51, so almost three hours later. And I think we have finally maxed out the temperature in here without adding another heat source. So the wood burner is still piping away, same temperature, so is the torpedo heater. Let's go take a look at what the temperature is saying on our digital thermometer here. And it's 1251 and we'll wait here. Temperature is 56 degrees in here. And the outside temperature right now is 36 degrees. So that's not bad, 56 degrees in here, 36 degrees outside, three hours later. I actually got another thermometer a little bit closer over here. Let's see what the temperature is on that. All right, so that's reading a little over 60 degrees. It actually feels a little warmer than 56 degrees in here, so I bet you it's closer to that 60 degree mark in here. Now, I guarantee if I turn this torpedo heater off, as a matter of fact, let me go do that right now so we can get a little quieter in here. We got the torpedo heater off, and man, it's a heck of a lot quieter in here. So yeah, the, now I've got the torpedo heater off. I'm sure that the heat will not stay in here for that long, but I'll tell you what, if I gotta work on something, in the meantime, this is a very comfortable temperature to be working in. A sweatshirt is, is just fine for this kind of temperature. Now, I will be curious to see what it would be like 
in this barn with a ceiling in here only. There's gonna be a whole series on how this barn responds to different parts of insulation. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully it gave a little bit of insight on what you could do with your barn and what an uninsulated barn is capable of. And I did want to mention this barn is a 36 by 40 and I've got 16 foot ceilings. If you enjoy this kind of content, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. And until next time, we'll see you in the next video.